Hey guys, Vikas over here and today we will see how we can backup our test model devices into human readable file formats. So in the previous video we saw like you know how we can backup our test model devices using node -RAID. and there we are just saving all the configurations into .dmv file for individual devices that can be then used to restore the test model devices in case of any you know uh, failures or something like that. Right. But the problem is uh, the DMP files are not human readable and they are basically binary files. Okay, So I came across this uh, particular repository by testmoda itself, decode config. What it does basically is, it's just a simple python program but that can convert between different formats of the configuration files. Like you know, you can take TMP, convert it to bin or JSON. You can also, you know, pull in from the testmoda device itself or using, you know, HTTP or MQTT. Right. So I'm going to use this decode config and what I have basically done is I've created a simple uh, you know, Docker container with a Python script that basically watches a particular folder right, in the container itself which is mounted to the container and you know file source and it just uh, you know triggers this decode config Python file with different uh, you know parameters as in explained by this uh, you know repository here and it finally generates the json uh, file from the dmp file and stores it to a destination folder so whenever this particular application you know detects there's a file available in the folder it takes that file convert to json and store into the destination folder and how i'm doing that from node is with the existing system you know so while writing if you see over here we are writing to uh, this particular folder backups slash test model that is mounted to my node red container as well as uh, this particular you know watch in process uh, decode config container right and so if you see the decode config basically or the you know the container the, this python script basically writes or uh, spits out the json files into this backup stash model json folder so this is a simple script that i've created you know it just uh, registers a watcher or observer basically and whenever there is either create or modified event happens it basically we're triggering the decode config.py i've also created a build file that you can use i know that basically clones the repository uh you know uh this particular one and just takes this uh decode config py and requirement.txt and does the installations and create the docker image for you so you can just uncomment this docker compose uh you know this one and i have attached the comp docker compose file as well so if you uh sorry here not here but if you go to the repository which uh, i know you can find the link down below in the description you'll find the docker compose file and everything right so this simple script will let you do that automatically okay so what happens is <coughs> and you can modify the docker compose file or you can attach to your other stack if you are deploying and you can just change the source and destination folders there and that should do that trick. so let's see how this works in action so over here, uh, you know, I'll just trigger this flow that should spit out all the DMP files from all my devices into this test model slash backup folder. And as soon as uh, the container detects uh, this, so let, let's do this. Okay. So you see, this is the logs of the container that is running the decode config. And as soon as, you know, it detects .dmp file, it just spits out the JSON counterpart. Okay. And we can see in Node-RED as well, you know, all the JSON files are being created using this watcher. Okay. Uh, so you'll find all the links to the applications and uh, the repositories that I have used. That's all with this guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. Hope it would be useful. 
एंड सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम विथ नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन गुड बाय